Hey, what's going on, guys? IO Studios here for another video. Today, I'm teaching you guys how to create a procedural asphalt material in Cinema 4D and Octane Render. So, um, yeah, let's get started. Uh, so, we're going to start by just making the uh, base here. It'll end up being a mixed material, but we're going to start out making the base here. Uh, you can see here's a preview of what we're going to be making later. But, uh, okay, so we're going to start with the base material. We'll just call this base. Um, okay, <clears throat> so we're going to be using two um, noise shaders. I'm going to plug them in here. The first one, the top one, we're going to set to be a Poxo. The second one, we're going to set to be a uh, Wavy Turbulence. There we go. The Wavy Turbulence, we're going to increase the contrast a bit to approximately 40%. Okay, cool. Now we need a mix. So I'm drawing that in here, and we're just going to mix these two together. Plug them in like that. For the amount, we can grab ourselves a float texture. Uh, about 1.5% probably. It's good enough. Whoops, I meant 0.15. There we go. Um, then we're going to grab ourselves a gradient. <clears throat> okay, and we're going to want the one set to almost black. And then the other side set to a quite dark gray. Just like that. We're going to probably tweak this later if it doesn't look too good, but... Plug that into the fuse here. I'll just start up the render. Apply the base material to this. And we need to just set it to cubic. <clears throat> okay, so this is kind of like the pattern you see on asphalt, but obviously it doesn't have any split it doesn't have any displacement. So uh, we'll do that in a second. <clears throat> First though, I'm gonna grab a common here, C for D shaders, about one thousand by one thousand should be a good resolution. We want to, we can turn up the octaves to 10 and whoops, and 10. There we go. Save that. Okay, looking pretty good. Now, um, <clears throat> that's all we need to do here. We're going to go ahead and add a, okay, so what we're going to do actually, we're going to copy this control C. We're going to call this, um, whoops. Um, call this uh, separator, and you know the yellow separator in in a one in two lane road. Well, we're gonna do that. So the one side of the gradient, we'll just make it a kind of darkerish yellow, something like that. Maybe kind of worn. And the other side, we'll make it a brighter yellow. Not too bright though. Just like that. Uh, maybe I can actually just break the bit. Just like that. Okay. Um, that's that. Now, we'll make the mixed material. So, create shader, see for the octane. We want a mixed material, not a normal one. There we go, mixed material. A separator. Base. <clears throat> Drive these in here. Okay, we'll just start... Uh, so here, we will start out with the displacement. So move these down here. Okay, sorry if you guys hear any background noise. Okay, <clears throat> we've got these like this. Um, now, for the, okay, we're not gonna do the amount yet. For the displacement, we're just gonna grab any of the Poxo uh, um, noise shaders, plug it into the, two books we need to add displacement first, add displacement. <clears throat> plug in any of the two Poxo shaders right into there. This might lag for a second. Or two. <clears throat> there we go. We're going to grab a Gaussian filter radius two. And I'm going to set it to 1000 by 1000 pixels. You don't need a lot of detail for asphalt. It's you generally end up tiling it quite a bit. So it's not too bad. Um, let's see here. Is everything working? Okay, right. We haven't applied it. Okay. Um, I will just drag our mixed material onto there. Now this looks bad. Let me just change the mix amount. Okay, so this is all right, but it's way too much displacement. Um, we're going to set it down to about two centimeters. Let's have a look here. Looking all right. Maybe we could tile it a bit more, but um, we can do that later. Um, so yeah, it's already looking pretty all right. <clears throat> now we're going to add the uh, line in the middle of the road. So um, for this, we're going to use a sine wave. I'm 
maybe there are better ways of doing this. This is how I came up with doing it. Um, so sine wave, plug that into the amount. I'm gonna grab a, uh, okay, we need transform projection. And for V transform, we're gonna set it to a value of about seven. Um, okay, we need a color correction node as well, actually. That's right. Uh, okay, color correction, plug that in there. Texture, amount. Okay, we're gonna set the hue to negative one, the gamma to 0 0.1, the contrast to 310, whoops. <laughs> Maybe we need to turn off the gamma. Sorry, we need to turn off the gamma. Okay, so we'll crank up the gamma quite far. There we go. Just be higher. <clears throat> ah, sorry. We can set that to 0 0.75. We're gonna set the brightness to 0 0.75. And then <clears throat> the gamma, something like that. Maybe we can, actually, we can increase the so you tweak this. Okay, that looks good enough. Now, um, we can transform, uh, we'll transform the position, whoops. Transform the position if I can. Ah, that's the position, sorry. There we go. Place it right in the middle of the road there. And um, that's that. I think we'll tile it a bit more actually, so cubic. Uh, projection here, I'll set it to 50 maybe, and 50. And um, yeah, I'd say this looks pretty all right. Uh, and you can do more with this as well. You know, if you want like a uh, kind of puddles on the road, <clears throat> maybe I'll make a tutorial for that, but this is very nice. And <clears throat> you know, the upsides with having a procedural texture is that you don't need to worry about, you know, you have a pixel texture where either it gets blurry if you look up close, where <clears throat> Sorry, I have a cough here. I'll show you. If we look really close at this, it takes a long time before this gets pixelated. And um, if we don't want it as pixelated, uh, you know, we can like up our octaves. And this is only set to 1,000. You know, I could up this to 8,000 and we would have tons of detail. So that's really nice about procedural textures. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys. Oh, this isn't centered. This is going to know me. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, leave a like, subscribe to my channel, and um, yeah, I will see you guys later. Have a good day, everyone. Bye.